At least it's not the mailbox this time. Maybe it's time you install the reverse camera. Here's how to do it in just five simple steps and it'll only take you an hour. Step one, gear up. We'll be demonstrating this camera, but there are many different types to suit your taste. Unless your nickname is Gadget Fingers, you'll need a few tools and supplies as well. A wire stripper and crimping tool, a pack of ring terminals, a sharp knife, trim removers, screwdrivers, electrical test light, a soldering iron, some solder to go with it, and a roll of electrical tape. Step two, we're going to get the trickiest part out of the way first and fit the camera. Go down to the back of your car and find a flat surface above the number plate at the centre of the vehicle. Wipe the area with wax and grease remover or methylated spirits to ensure the double-sided tape will hold. In most cases, the tape will be enough, but if you're comfortable drilling holes in your car, the included screws can be used for extra security. Now that wire must go inside. Following the wire for your number plate light is often the best way to do this. Route the wire towards one of your tail lights in preparation for Step 3. Wiring the camera. The easiest way to trigger your camera is by tapping into your reverse light. Locate the wires into the back of your tail lamp assembly and arm yourself with the test light. Earth the alligator clip onto a bare metal surface. A bolt will do. Now have someone in the driver's seat select reverse. The ignition may need to be on, but for safety, the engine must remain off. Now pop the reverse light globe out of its socket and probe the pins in the socket until the test lamp lights up. Have your assistant engage, then disengage reverse a few times to ensure you have the right one and locate the corresponding wire. If none of the wires light up your test light, it's usually a poor earth on your alligator clamp. Move this to a different point and try again. It's time to get that soldering iron heated up. Yep, you're going to learn how to solder. Separate the reverse wire that you've found and carefully use the wire stripper to bear a section. If it's not already bared, strip the end of the red wire for your reverse camera and wrap this around the reverse wire. By now, the soldering iron should be hot enough. Apply a dab of solder to the tip. This is called tinning. Then hold the tip to your wire join for a few seconds. Gently feed a little solder into the joint. It should flow and cover the entire bared section. If it won't flow, allow the iron to apply more heat. Once the joint has cooled, wrap it in a little electrical tape. If you also have a black wire from the reverse camera, strip the wire, clamp on a ring terminal and fasten this behind the nearest bolt. Preferably bare metal to avoid earthing problems. There you go, you're a soldering guru. The remaining wire needs to make its way to the front of the vehicle. Those trim removers will come in handy, allowing you to hide the wiring neatly as you make the way towards the next step, which is mounting the screen. And it's a breeze. If you're using a mirror screen, you already know where it's going. Just clip it over your existing mirror. Our screen can be windscreen mounted or dash mounted. We don't have space to work around the dash mat, so we're using the windscreen mount. Whichever you choose, make sure it won't obscure the driver's vision. Step five, wiring the screen. When you finish running your camera wire to the screen, you can also sort the power cable for it. This camera has a red wire which needs ignition power and a black wire which needs to be earthed. Just check the instructions if you're using a different camera. Above the pedals under the steering wheel is a good place to look for an ignition power feed. With the key turned to ignition, grab the test light again, locate the back of the plug and begin probing the terminals. Flick the ignition on and off. This is the one. You know the drill now. Using those solder skills, join the red wire into your ignition feed and fix a ring terminal on the black one. There'll be a suitable earthing bolt somewhere nearby. Now, it's time for the moment of truth. Testing it. With the ignition on, but engine off, your reverse camera should do nothing. Flick it into reverse and wait a moment. Nice, you've got rear vision. Now, all the neighbourhood mailboxes and wheelie bins can sigh in relief. Find detailed instructions and more videos to help you make it super at Super Cheap Auto's Super DIYs.